everybody. What day is it? It's Wednesday. It's not Tuesday for once. <laughs> Hi. We are the two cross stitches. I'm Mary Lou. I'm Amy. And it is, is it Tuesday or Wednesday? Wednesday? It's Wednesday the 25th. Six. Six. <gasps> See what happens when you retired. You don't have to pay attention to that. I sit here every morning and I say, yeah, "What day is it? What day is it?" <laughs> you do it all the time. This is a channel about cross stitch. Mostly. Sometimes, sometimes we will throw in a few other quilted items, or maybe some. Oh, we, yeah, we have a knitting crochet project coming up. And that might get shown, and I'm not going to say any more because it's kind of funny. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that's it for us. I hope um, everybody's enjoying their summer. I've had a lot of beach time. It's been really hot. Yeah, just so. color me jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot of beach time. Although pretty much since the last time we filmed, I've been on vacation. Pretty much. You have been, but not at the beach. No. Well, I mean, I was at um, camping. Oh, yeah, and, and camping. There's a, we were staying on Ospey Lake. Yeah. and. I literally could walk to the beach and the campground like in less than a minute. So I would have my chair. I would be sitting there when the sun came up and my mug of coffee and my stitch, and that's where I'd be. I was in my canoe, <laughs> <laughs> and I did do some shopping in Maine because it is really close to the Maine border. So that's always fun. Yeah, that's fun. I've been super busy, so I have to thank Emma. <laughs> So she put up just one for June. Well, I think I got four done for June. But it made me go into my whip bin and my lovely whip list and see him like crossing things out, which is great, and um, pull things that I really was that close to finishing on a couple of them. So that's why they were pretty quick to do. Um, so yeah, so maybe I can show those because we're doing FFOs first, right? Well, I still had some more life, but well, you know, whatever. Life? Yeah. Okay. I, after I went camping, I went to a quilt retreat in Alabama. Oh, that's right. So I, I came want, home, worked two days, and then left for Alabama. That, you gotta get that quilt finished so we can show. Yeah, it. we'll hang it up. I did <laughs> finish a quilt top. I didn't bring it because I like to show finished pieces. So. Uh, when I get that totally done, very I did make colorful. a bag. I think it's very summery colors. It's very cave. Like, oh, so people that like cave it. facet will totally love this quilt. It's very bright, very, yeah. you yeah. know, if you like Tulip Pink, you probably like this too. If you like Anne Marie Horner, just throw on some names out there. If you like any of those designers, you'll probably like her stuff. But I had a great time. My first time to Alabama, it was hotter than Hades. <laughs> and I brought it home with me because oh, yeah. the day I came home, it was still kind of beautiful, and then it, we went into terrible heat, and oh, well, you can blame me. My sister lives outside of Sarasota, Florida, and it was hotter here than there that week. Yeah. So like last two weeks ago almost. So yeah, it was hotter here. I we shifted the winds. We 101. We broke the records in uh, Nashua this year, so... Yeah, if I have something to be thankful for, I guess, okay, so we broke the record. Okay, we're over it. Yeah, we're, we're over it. <laughs> I don't have central air. I'm a air. pumpkin thumper. <laughs> I don't have central air in my house, so <laughs> Mary Lou's going to be grateful we film at her house. <laughs> yeah, because I would be wheezing up a storm. We mm -hmm. don't want that. Nope. Okay, yeah. now we can get okay, on this good. thing. All right. <laughs> All right, so... So it is, it's sticking. So I had got this pattern a couple of years ago at Celebrations, and I never did it. Um, primitive hair, frost and white. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Well, as a lot of you will know, primitive hair dyes their own linens exclusively. I don't stitch on linen. I dyed my fabric, so I went from brush dyed from dark blues up to light blues. And it's amazing. I love it. I love how it turned out. I had all the lighthouse done, everything. I had to finish the words in one of the clouds. That's all I had left to do. I, I'm driving myself crazy with um, 
these partial and done projects. So that was one I got done. Oh yeah, it does say it all right on the back. So yeah, 18 count that I did. 18 count Ada that I did. So and she loved it. it. She's like, I took it out. I took it off the wall just to show you guys. Then this one. This is kind of fun. Amazing again. So my my ocean theme that I love. Um, this is from the Cricut collection. It is down east. They have a longitude and latitude measurement there, and their pattern. This is this has um, New Jersey on it. Some bay in New Jersey. Well, I changed it to be Cape Cod because I'm there a lot. <laughs> So I changed it to be Cape Cod's um, longitude and latitude. I love it. I love it. It's framed it myself. She's going to give me lessons. The, I framed rock, Boston Live myself, and I pinned, basted it rather than wasted. It was the first time I've ever done it, and I love it. I love how you can get it perfect, it centered on the foam board and stuff. It, it worked out beautifully. I just love it. <laughs> so there's that one. I have to tell you all while she's getting her next thing. Mary Lou has two cats. You've met Maisie before, but Stitch is walking around and the he's normally jiggled. Yeah, he's normally like he's nowhere. He's run, he's right rubbing right. my legs right now. He's being this total sweetheart. So <laughs> I, I try to pick him up, but I might scare him, so I don't dare. So would he let me pick him up? No. Right. Let me see. Buddy, come here. Come here. He's like, yeah, maybe not. <laughs> no, <I'm not> <laughs> All right, well. So we'll try to get him. Anyway, it's here. amazing because normally I walk in the door and he's so scoots. I had a couple items and I wanted to do flat fold. And I love this. Was a stitch that would be the cat. Moving the camera. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> So I, this was rather large, but I really liked it. So Patriotic Pinwheel, that is by Artful Offerings. I stitched on, I think that was an 18 count rustico. It's fantastic. I love this one. So and the, the only thing left to do is I'm going to add, Amy's going to help me. We're going to make some cording. Yes. Maybe I'll make some red, white, and blue cording. And I'll put that on there. I have a mirror in my, a big oval shaped mirror in my entryway, and I always put a small on it. And I realized this year when I was changing my decorations out, I, I took a lot of the red, white, and blue, and I kind of moved them around and put the summer stuff out. I didn't want to put all the red, white, and blue away because it still got blown up to July ago. But I had no summer, small. So I just did one of the little. Um, whirly gigs. Who is it? I like the little hand, long hand. legs. Hands on designs or? Um, Rustico again. Hold on, I, I have it. No, Heart and Hand. Oh, so heart it is hand. Heart and Hand. It's from 2019, these patterns. I had them all. And, um, yeah, so I just kind of moved it, moved a couple of things around so it would fit in the circle. But it says summer. I like it. It's cute. it's cute. And on my entry hall table is all my, like, sunflower stuff and my bee crust. It looks like you have one of your tiny towns over there. It really, you have tiny towns there. So it really, <laughs> it kind of goes. I like it. <laughs> I like that every time I come to her house, her decorations have changed. And it's like, my house is so boring compared I, to hers. I move stuff around all the time because I just make so much. <laughs> so then. Yeah, she's not done yet, folks. I know. I'm, not, I'm still going. I've had June with the heat. I, I don't go out. Of, I'm asthmatic, so I try to stay in as much as I can when the air quality is poor. So, but good intentions that we all started at Library Stitches Retreat. Again, I wasn't sure what I was going to do except for a bit. And like I said, I was on a tear because I couldn't go out, so I had to think of things. So I finished it in a pouch bag. It's adorable. <laughs> I love it. It really, I yeah. And this I can use for like 
my tools and thread or whatever and stick it inside one of the bigger bags or use it for a small project. The six inch hoop will fit in it, it's big enough. So yeah, like it. <laughs> then um, in talking with Alice at the threaded needle, I always mix it up. In um, North Grafton, Mass. She, she got a bunch of bags in the store and they're beautiful. They're all lovely. But she was talking to me and was saying how she likes, she does a lot of smalls and she likes bags in the small size. So I did a couple, one a little widthwise and one a little taller. But again, a six inch, maybe even an eight inch might fit in the, in the wider one. I think they'd be good for Mill Hill kits too. Yeah, they're really cute. I have fun. I don't have much. I think I'm exhausting this fabric. I don't hold both of this stuff. I, I'm finally it's seeing fabric, the end. It's pretty. It's a lot of fun to use for the bags. So I did those two. Alice, if you watch it, I'll bring them down so you can play with them a little. And then this guy I love is this one. kind of my own creation. I kind of mishmashed a bunch of patterns and what I like. And I might even box bottom the next one. I rounded this one. Um, this is old bird, who is it? It looks oh, like Tula. Tula. I'm not sure, it's a cross stitch print. I think, well, it, I think it could be old Tula, because she had she some that had like lions few. that had this kind of... She had a few, but I'm not sure this one was. I have a bright, like fuchsia pink one too, a bit of. So I wonder if I'll look at and see if that one has to salvage. You know who else would love this? You. you know who else would love this? Brandy, look at those squirrels. There's, oh, Brandy, I got squirrels. There's two little squirrels. I don't know if you can see it, but there's two squirrels on there. <laughs> okay, Brandy. So I did this wild lime stripe inside, but it has this little extra pocket in the front because we had talked, again, Alice and I had talked about just being able to slip like maybe you just, your project is out and you just need to grab your scissors or the brush, you pulled out stitches and you're on to brush the excess way, or you know, maybe um, the pattern like these whirly gigs are pretty small, the pattern's like that size, right? And it would fit, and you'd be able to just pull it out and go to work on it. So, um, yeah, so I kind of mismatched a few different patterns to come up with what I like. Um, I like it, I'm gonna make a few. Maybe I'll get them up on the website to sell. Who knows? Who knows? I think that's all my other thoughts. Phew. You need a rest? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to let her take a nap for a whole one minute so I while I show mine. Of, I got a lot of... Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Stitch. Wait. Stitch. We got to go to info after. Okay. I got a lot of done for June, though. One for June, I got four of them, so... I'm pretty proud of myself. And I got stuff off my work list. I know, it's is, amazing. I have actual space in my in that bucket downstairs. No. Now. I have space in my bucket. <laughs> what a shame. <laughs> so I have, I don't know if you count this as one or two, but I stitched this last year, and it's called Autumn Splendor by Brenda Gervais. And this is 18 count Restico. And... I didn't love it because I couldn't really see the basket and there's white stripes and you can't really see it. So I did it again. <laughs> and you can definitely see the white stripes and the I white love, basket on this one. So and I decided you can't see it. If you're sitting here in front of it, you can see the white on the lighter side, but she's right. It is very pale. Yeah, it is very pale and hard to see. So this is 18 count khaki. And I, it was my first time using Lady Dot Creates trim. It's really pretty. Yeah, it worked perfectly. It's called, it's a hand dyed chenille in the color vintage, and I think it goes good with both sides. It doesn't matter. I did use all the called for on this one except for uh, the white color was light khaki, and I changed it to snowball to try to get it to show up more. Yeah, and it still didn't go to my liking, so I did it again. And then instead of um, Let's see. This was called putty on this side, but I changed it to Havana because I, it blended in with the fabric. So I changed yeah, that. Yeah, that worked nicely. So all of them were, I believe, Weeks Dye Works. Nice. That was mine. 
That's it. That's, it. That's all you got. That's it. <laughs> Thanks. I think I was in a race. I was out. Head. I was on vacation. <laughs> So I'm gonna let you do your um, your FOs. My finished items. Yep. You have some too, right? It's just to help out. Oh, <laughs> just one. Okay, so Sherry, the Colorado cross stitcher, does Stitch Camp every year, and she had a challenge this month for you to take a pattern and change a color. So the pattern I chose was Quaker Christmas Samplers by Carriage House Samplings, and this was gifted to me by Andrea, our friend Andrea. And this is a solid color Quaker. I did this one, and I changed all the colors. So it smells sparkly. Yeah, it's on a sparkly fabric. I don't know if I can get it to show, and I wasn't sure if that was going to work it's well for me. It's beautiful with the sparkle, so it really yeah. looks nice. It really is. I'm actually thinking about flat folding this like your bunnies. Ooh, that would be though nice. It's, even though it's kind of big, I it needs to make a statement. And this, um, all these flosses except for the gold were limited edition gentle art colors that I had bought at the library stitcher retreat from Reese. So Reese is the owner of the crafty Grimalkin up in Bangor, Maine. So. I can't tell you what colors they are because the color is limited edition, except for the gold, which is ye old gold, also from Gentle Art. So, funny the little story here. Still around, or maybe not, but I have some. I actually started this in color. the wrong orientation, so I had to start it over again. <laughs> Ooh. Thank goodness I caught it before I got too far, though. So that was my June Colorado Cross Stitcher Camp. Oh wait. Camp. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> nope. And then from Puntini Puntini, I, you all saw my one, two tree, and I did a second one from this pattern. It's called Christmas Trio 2023. So there's the one, two tree that you've already seen. And this is my most recent, oops, this way. It has little it's candies and a candy dish. So the pinwheel peppermint candies look so cute. Yeah, this one had a lot of stitching. There's only one left, and it's a much smaller. It's the little Santa, and he's gonna go fast because he's smaller than all the others. So that one's a 32 count vintage country mocha yep. Belfast linen. Yep. And that's it for my okay. fully for my finished objects. Okay, I have a, bear, a quite a large one. <laughs> No, I have it stuck on the story. So, you guys have heard me talk about my two trees project. Yeah, you can. Love and vibes. I finished it this week, and I was debating, so it's a sample one, so it has the alphabet down here. And the part that I loved was the edge border had two little squirrels holding acorns, and I loved them. But I got this big, and I said, oh, I caught her at 12 one night. I put the last stitch in, and I was going to put it down, and, you know, your brain's still going. And I'm like, oh, I had two frames I had gotten quite a while ago, and I thought one of them would work for this, so I brought it, went downstairs, found it, brought it upstairs, and laid it on top of this. And it fits. I don't have to do the lettering down here. Um, I had debated going back and forth whether to do it at all. Then I was going to put, like, right by my name and the date and stuff and still leave the squirrels in. But it fits beautifully in the frame just like this. And so. it looks amazing. I bring it closer, but with the table and the camera set up, I can't really. If you follow me at all on Instagram, they, uh, I already posted... I already posted pictures. You can go look at it there as well. And I have it. I have it laying in the frame. It's awesome. I love it. I love it. It's so one tree down. It's beautiful in those houses. So I did that. I started that about a year ago. Has it been that long? Yeah. I know Missy's doing hers too, and she was changing hers around a bit, but. 
I'm so glad this, I is, this is on your whip list then, mm -hmm. because I uh, haven't been stitching back to stitching for a year no, yet. So it's been about a year. Wow. So um, yeah, uh, live vintage country mocha on that one too. And this is oh, that was the best part. Twenty cow Ada. I love it. One strand. I just I flew. I, it was just like do do do. It just it. Threads and the fabrics, oh, it was just awesome. It's beautiful. I used all the cloth cloth thread colors. I didn't change a thing. Yep. Yep. So one tree love. Woohoo! Woo <laughs> That's my only up album. But I had finished everything else. <laughs> I lied. I had another finished item. Where is it? I know. i got to find it. <laughs> uh -oh. Hold on. I'm like, I was checking my notes. I'm like, uh-oh, I do have another finish. All right. Brenda Gervais. Oh, yeah. Wordplay. Words. Kathy, a girl from our Stitch group that gets together on Saturdays, and I are doing these together, and I finished June. Kathy Hollow? Yeah. She, and there, you, you saw, this? You saw April previously. I'm what y'all used to Kathy. I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah, she's keeping right up too. So I, I mean, she's probably surpassed me. She's probably already started August. That's so awesome. We're doing like the even months, and then next year we'll she's do the odd months. Busy. So yeah, it's it. I couldn't commit to getting one a month done. So it's like one nice. every two months. Yo, know, yeah, I forgot about that one. Sorry. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Whips. Whips. So let me start with this because I forgot to say this last month. I have to thank Helen D. <laughs> I have to thank Helen D. She gave me permission. <laughs> a couple, I want to say maybe four videos back, last month sometime, she did. She was, she was going through her wits and she was like, I'm going through, I'm purging, I'm you know, getting rid of stuff I know I'm not going to go back and do for whatever. I went through my rips, and I had a good half dozen that I have now voted off the island. Their history. I stopped sewing them for, and I looked at them. I stopped stitching on them because one of them was so messed up, and I, I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> but it was so bad. And I said, I know why I threw that one in time out. And if I had it this long, I look at the date I had on my paperwork, and I'm like, no, it's gone. So I cut off the bad part, saved the rest of the fabric, because it can still be used, and I put all the threads back in the stock history. And I did that with a few. One of them, I recall, was like all over, like um, all blue thread or all black thread or it was a silhouette one. I forget what it was, but I know now that's not me. Maybe a small, like JBW does some of the small little Quakers that are just one color or something like that. Maybe I would do that, but this was quite large. I want to say it was a 9 by 12 frame. That's how big it would be. So, yeah. So I know, and I had a couple like that, and I did the same thing. I'd stitch like a little four-inch area or so, and that was the end of it. I got a taste of it, and that was the end of it. Yeah, I look at the patterns, I'm like, I still like this, but I don't want to stitch it. Off it went. So <laughs> I, I narrowed my list out. So thank you, Helen. Thank you for permission to <laughs> get her gone. <laughs> Should I leave that for that? Yeah, whatever. Okay. A lot of you are working on this. She was working on this Joy. last night. We went to a Lizzie. new. We went to a new stitch group last night. I had mm -hmm. gone a couple times, and, and uh, I said, Mary Lou, you gotta come. It's in her town, which yep. is the next town over for me. Yeah. At her local library, and it's made up of mostly knitters and crocheters, but they do welcome any. Yeah, there any was kind a woman that did a did a wool work. Um, punch. Yeah, it was gorgeous. It was beautiful. Um, and she had a little hoop of pool work there too that she had been working on. So it's quite a variety. It's a fiber arts group, is what she's been naming it. So then she kind of 
included a lot of yep, the just different anything is welcome. It's every Tuesday at the so, Hudson High School Library. So Joy, the Carolina Stitch I had, posted this with another with a group of stitchers. Somebody, Cindy, I can't remember her name. I'll find it and I'll make sure we list it in the notes. And she had broken it, American Welcome, into 12 sections. So you would just do one section a month for the year and you would have it done. When I first saw this pattern, I was like, I'm not doing it. I have my two big trees. I'm not doing another big one. I was dragging, but I love it. <laughs> it's so pretty. I went, was this from Alice's or Reese's? I forget. It might have been from Reese's shop. And I, I saw it, and I'm like, you know what? No, I got the pattern elsewhere. No, it doesn't say. I got, I think I got the pattern at Threaded Needle. I got the threads from Reese because she pulled them for me. Her and her husband pulled them for me at the retreat. And so I have May was this for me, was that top left corner, June and start of July. Because <laughs> I got my other stuff one for June done. So I went and did that. And I'm going to set it aside now for a bit. But oh my god. It's beautiful. And this is a twenty count parchment. Yes, we looked at the last night. Last night. <laughs> um, I love those leaves the most. I love they the remind colors. me of those Hawaiian Hawaiian so, um, leaves that are all fanned out like that. Yep. Yeah, so um Colin Cotton. And the and and some DMCs in it too, but I just, I love it. I'm so glad I picked it up. It's such a beautiful color fabric, count. too. It, this is going to fit in an 8x10 frame easily, and I think I have one that's going to look really pretty. Um, Jess, Como Stitches, she finished hers. She did a little live video in her car, and she was so excited when she picked hers up from framing, and she got a dark wood frame, but in the middle of it is like a curve, and it's, it's that turquoise blue. It looks gorgeous. It looks beautiful. Beautiful. I can't I can't say enough for that one. So I can't wait to finish her, but she'll wait. She'll be patient, waiting in the wings. Okay. My birthday sal. Funky chickens. She's got a lot more done than I do. <laughs> So I just have to see, I have a few flowers here. I have to fill this in, and then I have to put the words in here. And this one's like, guess what, chicken butt? Guess what, chicken butt? <laughs> um, so I did that one. Um, Brandy, I think, is doing what the clock? Yep. I'm going to do all of them. Me too. I was trying to get one done for this, but it just didn't work out for me. Um, so I'll, have, I'll probably have it completely done next time. You can call me. <laughs> but that's that's what I'm gonna go for. And I got I think we're both doing fourteen count Ada. So I did get from four and midnight I got the felt that we need to finish them. And she said you only need so this is a nine by fourteen piece and you only need half of that to do it, so I'm gonna do half of it. Amy and so that was part of my, that's part of my haul. <laughs> and apparently part of my gift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my stitchy kindness. Thing. I got some there kindness. You go. <laughs> so those, um, the chicks are fun though. They're so colorful and um, yeah, they just are. This one's really special. This took a lot of work on my part. Um, I'm not complaining. i was thrilled to do it. I wanted to do it. It was my choice. I got this fabric. So, Cindy, my buddy Cindy, <laughs> found her flossies and such. You look her up. She has a website now. She's on Facebook. She is a dyer. She's an indie dyer. You guys, if you have not tried her floss, please run to your it fastest internet connection and go buy one. The thing I like most about Cindy's is 
you're getting 10 yards on these stands. It's like, I want to say four and a quarter, I think. But you're getting 10 yards. There's a whole lot of frost on these. Mm -hmm. So. And if you like fall, right now she's coming out with a bunch of Halloween fall. And, then got, and it's amazing. And then I got this. So this is her fabric as well. It's called oat milk. And it's pretty. It has some nice light it. modeling. It reminds me of the cream and sugar one, and I yep. just love the modeling in this one even more. Mm -hmm. I just so twelve month remains. And I haven't started a single one of them. It was in my plans, but I didn't do it. I have <laughs> converted all the DMC to Cindy's covers. So. You can give I'm me a working list. Working my way through. Give I, me a list I of those. I do have a list. And I'll put them on the notes because Missy from Two Needles I Pulling Thread mentioned it, with, it and she said she wanted to let you say yeah. what the conversion I was. I did so. share it with um, Missy already. I'm dying to see. She's doing hers, her 12 monthly minis in one piece. So it'll be framed, I guess. I'm doing mine all those pillows just like they are. I have a basket, a wicker basket. I want to put them in. Uh, I'm going to put them on one of my side tables. I just, the minute I saw the 12 monthly minutes, I knew I had to have them. And they're beautiful. And they are coming out gorgeous. So I have May, April, May, June, July done. So there's April. The purples, I don't think they're showing up as be beautiful as they are. I'll take a picture now that I've shown you here. I didn't want to post it. I started with the July one and worked backwards, and now I'll go forward again because I just love the red, white, and blue, and I was in stitching a whole bunch of patriotic at the moment. I love it. I love it. Oh, the strawberries. You can see the shading. That thread worked perfectly for those strawberries. Mm -hmm. um, and there's my bundle. And I had a lot of them already, and that's why I chose to do this. Um, and Cindy, when I told her, she had popped right up and said, let me know if you need any color, and um, I've got them right out to you, whatever. So I worked my way through. I have a list I put together for each month, and I've listed all the colors in the same order that it is on the pattern. So if it says use black, then hers is black cat and whatever. So I list them out in the same order as they appear on the pattern for that month. So I have a whole list, month by month. And then I have a list. This is one single list of all the colors should you want to go purchase. And if anyone, after seeing these, and I will post them again, on Facebook and Instagram for you. And should you want them, just pop me a message. I'll send it off to you in an email and a PDF file. I'll send them off to you, no problem. Um, I really enjoy doing this. It's the first time I've done any like full conversion like that at all. The minute I saw them and I was downstairs pulling threads and I'm looking at my rack with all my hand dyes and well, you know, cottage garden threads and everything I'm looking at. And I just got my bundle from Cindy and I went, I'm going to do them in flossies. And they're just, they're just beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, they work up so nice. Yep. So I'm having a lot of fun with that. So thank you, Cindy. <laughs> she has, she has the list already too, whether she's going to do them or not, but she can also provide them out to people and I'll let her know that. But yeah, so that's all my lips. I have a few others that I snuck in and out, but I'm not going to go. So I decided to start my first Mill Hill, and it's a Laurel Birch pattern that has oh, grass. Yeah. And yeah. I brought it to Mary Lou last night because I started this in the airport. I actually took a picture of it, and I think I stuck it on my Instagram page. And I went to get to my second color. So you can see I only have one color done. I know there's a little bit of a glare, but literally there's just like, 20 stitches in there. The symbol doesn't exist on so the chart. There's a symbol on the chart, but it doesn't. It's, it's not, not in the. It's not in the, the key. List. Yeah, and it's just the strangest thing. And I went and looked for errata. I can't find any errata on it. Maybe somebody any out there on any Mill Hill. Right. So if somebody knows of 
a way to direct us to find the errata for Mill Hill Patterns? There must be some, I would assume. I can't or be maybe the first they just person. don't do it. Yeah. Um, I can't be the first person that ran if into If you've that. done these giraffes. <laughs> yep, and you know what that little symbol is. And you know what that little symbol is. It's on the back of the hair of the lower giraffe. It's one of those orangey colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch the whole thing. If I don't get anyone to, you know, find the answer from, mm. I'm going to stitch the whole thing and see what I have left for flosses and be like, it has to be that one. It is one of the orange. It's like it's in the main of one of them. Yeah, of this orange. Yeah. Um, so I assume it's one of the oranges, and it just, the symbol made no sense whatsoever. So, so this one got started and put in time out just as fast. <laughs> So my good intentions, Kathy Barrick, is nowhere near finished like Mary Lou's, but I did do some of the filling. Well, she has good intentions. I have good intentions. This is this is the one that I started three times, right? Mm -hmm. So I did some of the filling um, of the yellow. So I think the last time we, I had already redone the black, yep. I think. Yep. So yep. I did a bunch of the filling on the bird. And like I said, I was on vacation and camping, so. <laughs> I just love that pattern. That was really and then Brandy's Ooh. birthday uh, stitch along, Mighty Acorn, is coming along pretty well, I'd say. I got the border done and the inner border. And I did start up on this branch here, but that's all I've done. Yeah, so I have the branches nearly done. I have a couple acorns to fill in. I think I might have, there might be one more leaf over here. And then I'm going to go into the words in the houses. So I'm, I'm loving that funny. one. That was another one that I thought was going to be so much bigger. And, and it's not. This is on 18 count Ada uh, in the color Wren. And it's hand dyed by Rolanda is the name of the dyer. And it's, it's a beautiful fabric. I would buy this fabric again over and over. I oh, just, yeah. just love I it. I have some of that too. I got it because of you having that one. And I just, I love it. Yep, it's, it's beautiful. It's a little, um, it's a lighter background to it than with the mottling in it. It darkens it up just enough. It's just beautiful. Any new, any new stuff? No. Ch Anything the new? chickens. Just the chickens. Just the chickens and. Okay. So I think that Christmas trio was a start and finish. I think. Okay. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Oh. <laughs> Oh, well, I got that. Oh, that was these belts. Are they going to be those chips? Going to be so cute. I have to tell you something. If there's one thing that I excel at, it's haul. <laughs> wow, she helped me. She enabled me. I enabled her. <laughs> For my birthday, she gave me a gift certificate to Thread and Needle. Yes, and I messed up our last video, by the way. Somehow, I cut out you opening that gift that I oh, gave you. Sorry. If I can figure it out, I'll tack it on to the end of this one. So, I went, um, my friend Gail and I, for my birthday, we usually do a lunch thing. We try to go somewhere, do something, like if there's a quote show around, we go do that or whatever. So, we went to Threaded Needle, and I got to spend my gift certificate, then some. So, <laughs> she had a few things there that I really wanted to try out. Um, Sorry. I don't stitch on women, right? But she had this. That looks a lot like that natural it's cork kinda, linen that I have for my good kinda, intentions. You know what it is? It's natural cork linen. Oh, I'm like, it looks just so like that. So, what I liked intentions. about it and what caught my eye was it's 20 count. And I can really see these holes. And it's not, it's not as flimsy as like Belfast or I can't think of what else. So I think I could do this. Yeah, mine's a little I bit have, different. Um, one of my Christmas ones, I have navy, I have a navy blue, and it's a little stiffer. It has a little more body to it. I can do this. So I got that. I got this beautiful blue. This was, I and I gorgeous. think that was too. She actually got these from um, Jim. 
needlework, needlework is delight to. This blue, it's only a little like a fatty, but look at the colors. It's beautiful. That modeling is um, gorgeous. Me and my ocean and beachy and... You'll have no problem uh, using that. Yeah, <laughs> I won't. It's on the Sunday list, but it's there. Um, I went through reorganizing a couple of shelves down there recently, and I have all my fabrics together now in a few drawers, and I put like the neutrals together and colors, and then I have a draw just with one of the fabric clubs I was in, and... I have a lot of those. So that's great that I could gather them all. But what else did I get? She had a lot of, um, she had a lot of, she loves smalls. She does a lot of smalls. And she had this long, you know, the fly pillow, that long. So she had that Christmas one done. This is called Cinnamon Stick Santa 25, 6, 7, 8, 28. There must be more of them. <laughs> I'm guessing a few. Now I have to go on the hunt. I need you to read the title. <laughs> You're right. It's really you. Wow. Then she had this Christmas one, Peppermint Christmas. This is Manny Dodonna. That one was, who is this one by? Santa Sullivan. Homespun Elegance. Homespun Elegance. I've never done any of their patterns, so that'll be new to me. But this one's Manny Dodonna. Again, long skinny pillow. And then I jumped back over to my beach. Chessie and me, I've done a few. This is called Return of the Royals. Check that out. Cute. Cute. And Jot and Privé, I got to be or not to be. I've seen this pattern. I've seen this pattern. And I've seen this pattern. I saw it done. That sold it. Look at that dress with the scene inside the dress. I love it. I, I, I just, they're so cute. And there's a couple of different ones. Look at the winter one. Mm -hmm. So now I have to get them all. I have to get them all. <laughs> Be happy and smile. It's winter. And she has a whole winter village in her skirt. It's just the cutest thing. So that, wait. Nope, stitchy kind of. Okay, that's my haul. <laughs> All right, here it is. My first bob bag. And isn't it pretty? Sandy Hotness, if you're watching, check that rainbow one out. Oh, it's I love called the colors. It's called Cotton Candy. And I oh. bought it from Bootleggers, which is a shoe store. Oh my God. I really? love it. It is cool. I she like, had so much stuff in her bag that she had used up at Library Stitches. Um, I forget where she got hers from. I don't think it's the same, but it's that big bag, and it's yeah. pretty solid. So oh. I bought a knockoff one that I was using when I went camping. Love it. And I wasn't going to spend the money on an, an official bog bag. I love it. But I couldn't help it when I saw that rainbow. Uh I I'm going to have to find a blue one. The funny thing is, is when I walked into the store, they only had the small one in the store. Yeah. And I said, do you have that bag in that size? Because <laughs> I wanted the big one in that color. And they called around to their stores and they shipped it to oh, my wow, house. Wow, that's so awesome. <laughs> How cool is that? So we continued shopping in North, we were up in North Conway, New Hampshire. If you're from the area or been there, you know that it's a, there's a lot of outlets and stuff like that. So I walked into the REI outlet and look at this one. It matches your bag. <laughs> it matches my bag. <laughs> I love it. Oh, so I had to get the water bottle. I mean, I have enough water bottles to last a lifetime, no. but I had to have that one because it matched my new bag. So, <laughs> all right. I have to thank Helen D. She told oh, me. Oh yes. She told me about Lady she Dot Creates. She Lady Dot Creates. And little, um, like bag jumbles of stuff in these bags. So like, it comes really nicely wrapped, and I just made a mess of it. But I didn't get any of the silver sparkly stuff like Helen did. But I do. I did get chenille. I got the dots. I got the rick rack. I've got some kind of satiny. Thing in bags here, of bits. Kind of That's what they are. Bags of bits. Yep. Bag yep. of bits. Um, be awesome because you get a variety of of trims, and 
especially if you're doing, I know there's a couple of yards of each, I think. Yeah, I mean, some of them are big pieces. Some of them are a little bit smaller. It, so it was nine fifty for the bag, and I'm thinking, I'm going to get so many of the things. That's awesome. Yeah. So Helen always says she gets two, and I only ordered one, and I thought to myself, I should have ordered two because, like, the shipping is half the cost of the product. So it would have made it more, more worthwhile, I think. So next time I'll get two, but we'll see how long well, this will last for. next time. If you get two, I'll split it. Well, Helen tells us immediately. So, no. But you can also, Helen said on her last video, you can get on the watch list. So when it comes into stock, oh, it'll yeah. notify you. So anywho, shopping, shopping, shopping. Ooh. So I went to Cobweb Corner and did one of their auctions. Oh, yeah. And I got one of her blings. She's great. And let me tell you, the camera is not doing this justice. It didn't do it any justice on uh, the photos that she took either. When you see this thing in real life, it's gorgeous. So if you ever get to it's buy something from Carla from Cobweb Corner, I highly and recommend. And she's quick. I mean, she's really good getting things shipped out. I know I've got my nipplers from her, and um, she's really good. Yep. So I bought one of my Blackbird designs comes on some toweling, and I know Angel sells this too, but I just happened to be at Primitive Quarters while I was looking for it. That's finished, right? I don't know. I didn't take it out of the packaging. Really I don't cool. think so. I mean, one edge is, yes, oh, yeah, but like it's edge. it's raw on the other edges. It's just like yeah. fabric would yeah. be. Yeah. But you can stitch little pillows, like that long pillow that you have for your Santa. Yeah. You could stitch a little pillow on, on this and have these edges already. Yeah. You could just run a seam on the mm. each side. Yep. So I got some toweling. I love that. Yep. And... All right, it's it's ridiculous as always. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> but wait, there's more. See, this is where she out outdoes me. We'll have to wait and see as these come to fruition. Then she'll have a day like mine. <laughs> so clearly, I was feeling a little patriotic, and I got Ooh. some. I had already bought some Lady Dot Creates, and it's kind of red, white, and blue. It's yeah, not white; have, it's silver. I but have that blue. Yeah, Union. Sterling and Sizzle. Um, this is the polka dots, and these are the chenilles. So, yep. all right, let's put that back in there. So, <laughs> Plum Street stars, and then there's a companion piece by Shepherd's Bush yep. that's Ann Stripes, and I still have to buy that one, but I figured. Yeah, I want to do these too. They're really. Yeah, they're beautiful. It's Plum Street. How could you not? I mean. Chris, yeah, the camping stitcher. Yeah. And Chris, this camping stitcher always says, purchase all the Plum Street. Yep. So I'm, I'm trying to help. Oh, wait, wait. No, no, no. We're not there yet. <laughs> all right. We can go there. Plum Street. Plum Street. It's a uh, pomegranate Santa. I just thought he was really adorable. It really is cute. I, I don't think I've seen that one. And I'm missing one of my colors, but it's all classic color works, and I kitted it, so that's ready to go, okay. and Scattered Seed one. Samplers, Harvest Waiting, I like Blackbirds, so anything with a Blackbird on it, and fall theme, and I've kitted that with the DMC, so that's ready to go. <laughs> I bought another Mirabilia, I haven't done one yet, but I bought a second one, I got this one from Carla from Cobweb Corner. I'm a February amethyst baby, so this is the February she amethyst fairy, the and I got the bead pack because you know you never know how long it's going to take me to get to this. I'll always have the DMC, right? I'm um, Santa Mill Hill because I am planning on doing 25 and 25. I'm going to do 25 Christmas ornaments in 2025, so that's going to be one of them. And then this is a wool pattern, June pillow top. So it's wool applique. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little beehive, bee yeah, scab. It's, a it's cute. It's a little, it says summer kind of wonderful. And it has a little, a little watermelon beehive. and yeah. a watermelon slice. And oh, and she got chubbies. I got the chubbies. These were also from Primitive Quarters Quilt Shop. I got the chubby bunny, fox, and bird. I got the bunny, and I actually got that frame. The frame is really nice. The hoop sits right inside and locks in the frame. And there's a little stand. The frame is wonderful. 
And I she it took you pennies worth, but it was it was worth it. And she told me another one's coming out. She didn't tell me what it was, but she said another you, one's so coming. So you can take the hoop out and you've stitched the other one, now you can change it out and put the new one in. So I just I love that frame. So Jeanette Douglas designs. Oh yeah. Budding oh, bouquet in okay. autumn, and I love autumn. I just thought that was absolutely beautiful. It's a nice small stitch, so pretty, pretty. So many hands of the heart, I think, is her other one that I did I have that. The Scarlet House Freedom. I like that. The little eagles. Flower Garden Sampler by it Artful Offerings. Nice. Oh, it's so pretty. Of course, you love that one because of the blue. I love Artful Offerings, too. I love them. I have the uh, Christmas one of theirs, too. It's really pretty. And it has an alphabet, and I'll do it. I'll stitch that out. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, more Plum Street. More Plum Street. <laughs> it says buzz off. <laughs> I love it. It has the bird sitting on the little bee scap. I just think it's really, really oh, cute. I really love him. And then scattered seed samplings. I'm definitely getting into liking them a lot. There's a nice, I think it's a pigeon. I'm not sure. It could no, be a quail. Bird. I'm not sure. Early bird pink. Gathering together. And That's then really Brenda Gervais, keeper of the pins with thy needle and thread. I might have even bought this one twice. We're going to have to wait and see when I get through my I stash. I think I have this one. Or maybe I saw yours. Because yeah, I've I, seen it I before. Think I have this one. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was at Camp Wool in Maine and I bought some fabric. So this is a 28, or sorry, 32 count Belfast linen in terracotta. It's so pretty. And then a 32. It really is terracotta color. It's yep. beautiful. And then a, another 32 count Belfast linen raw. It's That's the name of the color, raw. So while at Camp Wall, they had Stacy Nash patterns on sale. <laughs> yeah. 30% off. So, be kind and true. It's be kind, people. Be kind. <laughs> and I kidded it. And then there's pomegranate sewing tray and persimmon oh, that's scissor sweet. fob. Yeah, I Very thought you'd nice. like that one. And I kidded Very it. Nice. <laughs> and this one is too. And this one is, I kidded it, you can see. Primrose Farm sewing basket and heart pin keep. Very nice. That's going to be really uh, nice. Yeah, I love Susan. And so. Camp Wool is, you know, wool. So I did buy a wool pattern while I was there, too. I love owls. So if the stitching owl up in Canada is watching, she'll probably like that one, too. Yeah, she will. And I got my cross stitch <gasps> Halloween magazine. And check, we check this out. Check that out right there. <laughs> right there. This one, she's special. I want to do that one. I, I already got, I get mine as a download. I already have been looking at it. I just, which one? some one? really nice, yeah. The witch? There's some really nice patterns in it if you haven't gotten it yet. So, Stony Creek Sampler. I've been really loving, or Stony Creek Collections, really loving their samplers lately. And this winter sampler is just so pretty. Mm. If you look on the back, there's, a bunch of that mm -hmm. run in that line. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking about maybe buying one of those Chantel 141 boards, you know, the uh, long yeah, ones, and maybe yeah, yeah. doing it on those. Yeah, check the count and see if it'll fit. That's an awesome idea. So Primitive Quarters Quilt Shop had... If someone one has a lighthouse. <laughs> Primitive Quarters Quilt Shop carries Blackbird designs, and Laura, the serial starter from Brenda and Laura, says buy all the blackbirds right so i bought every one that she had that i didn't have so there's feast of friendship which is a thanksgiving yeah, yeah. theme yep yeah. yeah. the house is incredible this is one of the new ones that i love more strong yeah. honeysuckle manor oh, I don't have that one. by blackbird obviously blackbird these are all blackbirds <laughs> samplers and projects in vintage style vintage style cats on parade Oh, that's cute. Let's get some nice single color stitching in. Sweet Land of Liberty. A lot of people are talking about this book because they're doing a stitch along. A bunch of people are doing a stitch along. Yeah, yeah the Abigail. Uh, not that one. That thing. It looks huge. The Abigail one? Yeah. 
Oh, it's right here. So let me look real quick. Finished size nine and a quarter by nine and a half, hmm. and that's on thirty-six count. But there's a stitch along going on. So if you watch uh, Brandy and Emma, who else is doing that one? Chris. Chris, the camping stitch. No, she's doing a different one out of the same book, I think. Um, Nisi. Nisi. Yep, that's it. I think that she picked this as her birthday one. I think. So you know. I had to go to that store twice, and I accidentally, I accidentally bought this one twice. And you said you already have I it. I already have it. So what we're gonna do? Ooh, Ooh you ready? Yes, so we can have. It's getting hot here. We're gonna do a giveaway. So if you'd like to be considered for this chart, you can type the word "thank" and thank, thank like for Thanksgiving, mm. like thank. Thank or um, thanks. I will search on both thank and thanks. Uh, it's just so pretty. It really is. It's beautiful. If you love fall and you love big houses, it's for you. And it's got this big fruit bowl. Like It's like a cornucopia, but without the I horns. Know. I love that bowl. I love it. So, if so you... much color. Uh, so, so, yeah, we're we'll give have our away. first giveaway. There you go. <laughs> That's awesome. So we'll use the random picker and um, we'll let you know next time. Yeah, we'll figure out how to use it. <laughs> and I bought a uh, project bag. That's cute. I was into the red, white, and blue. And this is even winter because it has like the cardinals it and has stuff. It winter cardinals and winter berries. It's really pretty. And birch trees. And this is from Wildberry Stitching. And she sells her stuff up at Primitive Quarters Quilt Shop in... Really pretty. I don't remember the name of the town. In Maine? Maine. It's oh, in Maine. The, well, this is her. This is the bag lady's oh. card, not Primitive Quarters card. So, but Primitive Quarters in Maine. Whew. There's the haul. Tired. Gonna yeah. need a drink after the that. The haul was more than my apple falls. <laughs> Let me just say that. Yeah, now I need time to do it all. I think I can stitch now for like 17 years on on my haul since I've started stitching again. <laughs> All right, kindness. Kindness, I got this. Amy brought that to me yesterday. So I have the other one. The other one has like the bubbles. The Target's um, five dollar spot thing. Yep, the other one has bubbles, and this one looks this like one a rope. Looks like a rope. So one of my ocean theme is gonna go in that. I thought, boy, Helen D would probably like that one too, and she's the one that turned me on to the Target dollar spot. Well, Helen, you better, there. you better get the Target. They got. Oh, did you see her last video? She said that the uh, bat frame for people that really love Halloween is back at oh, Joanne's. Oh, it's back at Joanne's. Yeah. So run. So Don't run because it'll be gone. <laughs> I didn't. I was at Joanne's the other day. I didn't even look because I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. So my yeah. kindness is also at home. Uh, Andrea, a friend of ours, gave me some shirts that no longer fit her. She's lost weight, and she gave me two of her shirts. So thank you, Andrea. I don't have them here, but you will see them on my body during one of the filming. Well, that's the other thing I could have showed you this that I made. But Andrea, my friend Gail gave me this lovely bag for my birthday. So it has a different pocket on the side. And then it has the open patch pocket. And it's and Teresa it's Koga fabric. And Teresa Koga buddies. <laughs> I love Teresa Koga. I love it. And in it, she always buys my wish list on one, two, three stitch. And she always buys something for me. So check that out. Lighthouse. And I actually have, so from that. Other lighthouse, I have a piece of Nantucket sky left, so I might be able to fit it on that. But then I found this in in my reorg downstairs. I found this. It's pretty, and it's really it, it looks like the one in the picture. Yeah, it's almost like a light mint even. Yeah, it almost like a has minty a blue, yeah. like sea glass. Yes, exactly. And it has no label, so I don't even know. Oh, that was that. Okay. Um. It's just a 14, it does look like it's 14 count. I thought it might be 16. I was going to say, I think it might be 16. It I think it is 16. Be, but it's so pretty. So I might use, I'm going to use one of those, either or to do it. I haven't decided yet. I'll do a thread toss and I'll figure that out. 
Um, that's it. I think that's it too. Oh my God. Whew. No way. So plans. Oh gosh. I don't, I'm not even going to make plans. I never stick to them. Why bother? I plan <laughs> for July, which is next week. What is this? Wednesday? So Monday or Monday, I think, is July 1st. Yeah, Wednesday so, is the 3rd because my parents are coming back and i got to pick yeah, them up at the airport. So Monday so. is the 1st. So I am doing Christmas in July, but I am going to continue my, my madness <laughs> with my work list. So I have pulled out Christmas themed projects that I've already started. And that is what I'm going to work on for the month of July. So I might not work on one all the way through. I have one that's barely started um, that I got at Stitch New England retreat last fall. And I just started, and I started it on a linen. And like I said, I don't switch a linen and it's navy blue. I did get a backup Ada, just in case. <laughs> but I did start a little bit of it, and um, I think it might be okay. So we'll see how it goes. But that's my plan for July is to stitch. And then... Because, yeah, they call it Jolly July, right? Yeah, yeah, something like that. But I'm... I think a battery might be going or something. I think our battery might be going. <laughs> so so we're going to wrap note, this up real quick. <laughs> on that note, um, I did um, start watching a new... Plus, Tuber carry the, um, it's called Hello Plum Podcast on Foster. And I watched her too. Yep. And I love her. Yeah, I love you, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's only got like two or three videos out there right now. She might have just posted her. And I'll try to tag her below as um, well. Her. She's a lot of fun. And I've, I've watched all my usuals. So, so um, just to wrap up, there's been a lot of, um, rudeness going on out there in the stitch world again so just remember people be kind be kind be kind, be kind people be kind <laughs> i As can't say it enough amy the renewing stitcher says be kind people and be kind people yeah so be it's bold true. all right so be kind a lot live free, free and stitch <laughs>